Hey readers, so this week for our read aloud, we are going to go on a journey through space going along with our theme for the week. This story was written by John Haslam and Steve Parker. So again, with some of our other stories, we're not going to be rereading the same book um, all throughout the week. We're just gonna kind of go piece by piece through this book because it has a lot of cool information that we're going to be learning about. So let's jump in. I wanna start by looking at the front cover. There's lots of things that we can start to get some vocabulary going for. So we see our astronaut here and I can also see his face. He looks a little concerned there. So maybe he's like free floating in space. Planets, this looks like a, like the Mars um, rover. This is, uh, let's see if I can use the right words, a comet or a shooting star. We've got satellites, rocket ships. Maybe this is a moon down here. You can see way down here. So um, it's kind of giving us a little tease about what we're going to be learning about. But I personally love space because it has so much we can learn about. This is our table of contents. So we're going to start um, on page four with let's begin our journey. Here we go. Let's begin our journey. Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered what it would be like to zoom through space? It's so far away, but there are so many amazing sights to see. Raise your hand if you've ever wondered what it's like in space or wanted to go to space or thought maybe you're going to be an astronaut when you get older. Um, I know I have. I think it would be amazing to go up in space and be in the stars and the, the sun and the moon and all of that stuff. So looks like this little boy really likes space. His if I look closely at the details in the picture, his comforter has space stuff on it. He's got a poster. His lamp has a rocket, all sorts of space stuff in his bedroom. So he must really enjoy it. And there he is just gazing up at the moon. All right. Wow, a thousand times bigger. This looks like a telescope or a satellite or we'll see if we can find out in the words. This is called stargazing. As the sun sets, the moon and stars come out and so do the people who study them. These people are called astronomers. Can you guys all say astronomers with me? Ready? Astronomers. They use telescopes to look at space. Telescopes make faraway objects seem much closer. Some telescopes are as big as the astronomers. Over so here, it's showing us they're as big as the astronomers. Let's see, I got a glare. Some telescopes are bigger than 100 houses. They make things look over a thousand times bigger than they really are. So I think this is a different type of telescope that's bigger than 100 houses, it says, wow. That must really be able to zoom in on the things we can't really see with our eyes. Blast off! The only way to journey into space is in a rocket, also called a launch vehicle. Hmm, I didn't know that. It has the most powerful engines in the world. Some rockets carry machines such as satellites and space probes. Some carry spacecraft with people called astronauts. It takes months to get ready. Everything is checked many times. Ooh, and they're counting down down here. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. The people at the control center begin to count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Flames blast out of the end of the rocket. We have liftoff. As the rocket takes off, the ground shakes. At first, the rocket goes slowly. In one minute, it is faster than a jet plane. In another few minutes, it is 25 times faster. Wow. So a rocket really is the fastest thing in the world. This must be the control center people down here. You can see he's got his headphones on, all sorts of machines and buttons over in this corner too. Into orbit. Ooh, all right. Space starts 62 miles above the surface of Earth. As a rocket goes higher, more than 100 miles from the surface, its path curves and it starts to go around the Earth, right? Because our Earth is a, a sphere, that math word, where it's a solid. It's a, it looks like a soccer ball or an orange. It's not flat. So as the space rocket goes up, right, it's going to take up straight up. Can you guys do that with your hands? We'll use a gesture. So your rocket, we'll count it down, ready? Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. So it goes up straight and it says once it hits that certain 
miles above Earth, it starts to curve and go with the shape of Earth. Very cool. I didn't know that. I guess it makes sense, but I never really thought of it that way. That's pretty neat. So it starts to curve around the shape of our Earth. The front of the rocket opens and the spacecraft or satellite comes out. Ooh, I think they're trying to show that in our pictures here. It also, it is also in orbit, speeding along at 17,000 miles per hour, 300 times faster than a car on a highway. It can stay in orbit for years. Space is empty. It has no air, no clouds, no weather, and no sounds like we hear on Earth. It can be very, very cold. The stars look much brighter. The blackness around seems to go on forever. Ooh. So there's no air. That's why the astronauts have to wear the special suits. Um, there's no clouds. There's no weather. So there's no rain. There's no snow. There's no sunny days versus cloudy days because we, I'm sure you can see the sun at some places up in, in the sky um, because it's one of our stars, but it's not like a sunny day like we would get here that grows plants and stuff. Cool. So this is showing us how the rocket took off and it had three parts here. And then after a certain amount, the two parts break off and the one comes and then it does what it needs to do. Okay. Living in space. A satellite is something that is in orbit around Earth or another space object. The first satellite was Sputnik 1 in 1957, around 60 years ago. It was about the same size as a beach ball. So let's do a little frame of reference here. The first satellite. So a satellite is something that goes out into space and it's, it collects data or information to all the um, astronomers and the people that work all the machines and it sends back information to them so they can learn about it. And they said that this thing that went up to space was about the size of a beach ball. Something like this went up to space and sent information back down to us so we could learn. How cool is that? The Hubble Space Telescope is the size of a school bus. Let me get one of the, oh, I don't have a school bus I can show you. We all know how big a school bus is outside. So that was the next, um, or that was a space telescope, okay? It was launched more than 25 years ago. It has taken many amazing pictures deep in space. So it sends us back pictures so we can learn about it. The biggest satellite is the ISS, the International Space Station. It would cover a football field. So think about where Mr. Dow used to take you guys out back on the turf um, about the length of that whole green grass out there inside the fence is how big the space station is. Astronauts live here for weeks, even months. Inside the space station, astronauts and, ev uh, astronauts and everything else float about with no weight. Wouldn't that be a strange feeling? All right, that is where we're going to leave off today. See you guys tomorrow.